So let's have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, we're gonna start from the standing room. Okay. <clears throat> so this is the practice I would like you to practice on the day-to-day -day basis. Okay. So inhale, like stay like a Vitala or Krishna. <laughs> okay. And inhale up. Chest lift higher to the sky. Exhale, chin lock. Your, your form standing in the Tadasana. Inhale up. Four steps of breathing. You involve in your own practice. Exhale down into the chin lock. One last time. Inhale. And exhale. Now come into the center. Inhale in the center. Exhale to the right. Inhale in the center. Exhale to the left. Just do as per your uh, neck in uh, flexibility, okay? Inhale. Exhale, right. Inhale. Exhale. One last time. In. Out. In. And out. Come into the center. And release. In the third one. Again. Coming to the stand, strong legs. Okay, back straight, shoulders relaxed. Inhale in the center. Exhale to the side and up. Look up. Inhale in the center. Exhale to the left and look up in the back. Inhale in the center. Exhale. Side, up. In the back. Inhale in the center. Exhale to the left. Up and in the back. Inhale in the center. One last time. Inhale in the center. And exhale to the side. Look back. Look up. Inhale in the center. Exhale out to the left. Look up in the back. Vision is of Drishti is on the back. Inhale, come into the center and release. Okay. Now we'll grab our shoulders. Okay. Inhale up. Very good. Elbows to the sky. Very good. Exhale down. Inhale. Elbows to the sky, observe it. Exhale, elbows into the back and down. One last time. Inhale, elbows up to the sky. You're nicely grabbing your shoulders. Exhale, back and down. You got that? Mm. Okay. Now, circles. Sorry, we'll do it in the front. Now we are done in the top. We'll do the front and then we'll go into the okay. rotation. Okay. So inhale, lift your elbows higher, chest forward. Exhale out. Very good. Nice, strong movement. Inhale. Open your elbows. Lift your chest higher. Exhale, elbows in the front. If you can... Okay, exhale. Now inhale to the side. Exhale in the front. And release. We'll do the shoulder one now. Rotation. Clock, right? And anti-clockwise. Okay, so we'll do it with the breath. You involve with the breath. If you do not do with the breath, it's more like an exercise. Okay. Stretching. If you're doing with the breath, it's more about yoga. Okay. So inhale in and up. 
exhale down in out back and down in and up back and down got it opposite in up front and down back and up front and down do it at your own pace So now uh, left hand on the palm, on the hip, sorry, and hold your back, okay? Now inhale through the right hand, in the center, very good. Now exhale to the left and push your right hip out. Look over the ceiling, look over the ceiling. Inhale in the center and release. Other hand, left hand goes up, inhale, strong hands reach to the sky, active hands. Exhale to the right, bring your left hip out, look over the ceiling, your drishti is over the ceiling. Push your hip out, inhale in the center and out. You remember the muscles, what we learned? All the muscles, now you're, you know where to focus, how to connect, which muscle we are thinking. You see that? How this muscle is going to come, right? So the, enjoy that now, okay. okay? Teaching is very important so that now you can connect very nicely, okay? So we did the right and left, you do that for five times, mm -hmm. okay? Now spread your legs out, okay? So now let's do some hip rotation, okay? So this is a joint circular movement nice move your hips go back go to the side go to the front go to the side go back do it just like a circular movement involve it nicely now opposite one okay the same thing what we did to the shoulder shoulder and hip they are almost the same joint ball and socket joint so this is a nice movement nice rotation you can do both ways Now you did the rotation. Now bring your both legs together. Now we can do inhale. Namaste on the top. Reach to the sky, push the earth. Okay? Now exhale, come into the namaste. Exhale into the forward fold, whatever suits you the best, okay? Hold your toes or put your hands next to the body, okay? Now inhale, wrap around the sun. Inhale, okay, wrap around the sun means when you're coming like this, you open up from the side, okay? And exhale, we'll do the same for three times. Mm -hmm. But everything at home, you'll be doing for seven times, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. Inhale, into the namaste on the top, reach to the sky, push the earth, stretch your, that means you're stretching this spine vertebrates okay extension of the spine exhale into the forward fold come with the namaste and reach down wherever your body can allow you exhale nose to the knee wrap around the sun open up open up inhale and exhale one last time open up Inhale, very good. Reach, stretch. If you want to go a slight bend here, you can do that too. Exhale into the forward <coughs> fold. Now here, grab your shoulders, okay? Inhale in the center here. Exhale to the right. 
Stay there. Inhale in the center. Okay. Exhale to the other side. Hold it. Okay. Inhale. Do it at your own pace two more times. Exhale. Enjoy the involvement. See how far you can go in the back. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. In. And out. Come into the center. Release your stretch. And come up with the namaste on the top. And exhale. Okay? Are you okay? Yeah. yeah. The next one. From here, we'll go into the floor. Okay. Flow of the sun salutation. So half of the, a few of the steps, you already know it. Sun salutation always starts from the top of the mat. Inhale. And just release to breathe out a little bit here. One more time. Out. Last. And out. Now let's prepare for the sun salutation here. So what you do here, you inhale, lift your chest. Very good, protection. Very good, exhale into the namaste. Inhale into the up moon pose. Exhale into the forward fold. Inhale, right leg goes back. Very good, hold your breath. Left, go, left leg goes back. Separate your legs like a hand distance apart. Very good. Come down. It's not a down down. It's like parallel to the ground. Very good. Right? Now knee chest chin on the ground. Exhale. Chin is in between the palm. Very good. Do not move anything. Chin is coming in between the palm. Inhale into the cobra. Cobra doesn't have hands and legs. Very good. Very good. Exhale into the down dog. Okay, down dog. So walk your feet a little bit forward and bring your heels. It's like this. You bring your heels close to the ground. Yeah. Okay, got it? Mm -hmm. Now inhale, uh, sorry. So from here, inhale, your right leg comes in between the palm. Right leg in between the palm, look up. Okay, exhale, left leg joins the front and into the forward fold. Inhale, come into the namaste on the top. Exhale. So I showed you from the side. Now let's finish the other side, okay. which is your left leg. Got it? Inhale, again, chest forward, inhale. Exhale. So when you're doing this, you remember that small muscle below scapula? That's what you should, you're supposed to feel it here. Mm -hmm. Okay, this muscle. So there is a muscle below is infraspinatus. These are the muscles serratus. Okay. Enjoy that. When you do that, enjoy that. Otherwise, you will not reach that muscle. It's very hard to reach that muscle. And some of the muscles are inside. You cannot reach them. Only these are the movements you can open them. Okay. Left leg, okay. Inhale. Exhale. In. Going back a little bit. Exhale into the forward fold left leg in look up lift your back leg back knee look up active toes hold your breath bring your front leg back into the plank very good bring your like you you have a lot of distance between the two legs uh, same distance between the hands very good hold your breath exhale Knee, chest, chin on the ground. Chin is in between the palm. Do not move your palms. Inhale into the cobra. Lift your hands and legs. Active toes. Point your toes. Very good. Point it. Exhale into the down dog. Walk your feet a little bit forward. Heels close to the ground. Okay? <laughs> Hip is like going to the sky. Look in between the palm. Okay. 
okay mm -hmm. now inhale left leg goes front and if it is not coming walk it okay. support with your hand but do not move this hand do not move the positioning yes. okay okay look up bring your back leg front into the forward fold exhale wrap around the sun inhale and exhale this is your one sun salutation mm -hmm. right 12 left 12 24 24 okay. <laughs> got it 24 hours <laughs> <laughs> yes or no yeah right mm -hmm. so imagine one for one hour <laughs> if you do uh, six sets of this that will be awesome okay i will sh this is a general sun salutation for the pcod we'll do a very specific one okay okay so you do like three sets at least this opening up okay then maybe three i will show you the deeper one okay okay so we bring one leg back you remember yeah. that modified one so let's do until there show me okay. i will follow you um, okay 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 no problem okay very nice very nice very good now bring your right leg back now bring your knee on the ground okay, okay? back toes relax now come into the lunge inhale nice inhale look up look up now exhale come into the dynamic movement okay we'll do some dynamic you see this what's happening here yeah. you're going into the ovaries <laughs> yeah you're going into the very deep organs inhale nice hold up exhale one last time in open up out okay now after this okay the second variation namaste on the side okay okay i'll show you inhale namaste on the top go back and exhale when you come you bring your left elbow out of the right knee outside outside okay okay ha ah, very good look up into the back Okay, look back. Go deeper and deeper with each breath. Very nice. Hold this. Enjoy at least seven breaths here. Nice, deep, deep, deep. But <laughs> that is a little difficult. <laughs> like holding it. Okay. Ah, uh, where are you? Show me. That's good. Yeah. Just bring the knee a, a little bit out. See if you can. Okay. Now breathing deeply. Focus on the non-moving object. Okay. You can do it. Yeah. Your posture is good. Only you have to breathe in. Just connect. Look back. Ah, look back. Very good. You're doing good, girl. I'm like holding for long time. <laughs> it's okay because you you don't have a practice, right? Uh -huh. If you have a practice, you will do the same. It's okay. just a practice. Right? And balancing out. Hmm. You're balancing. Only now breath practice is important. And the connection. You you can your mind cannot wander here and there and you can do this first. Okay, this is the second one. Okay. Now in the third one. Okay, so you got the second one. Now in the third one, you are bringing your left leg out to the outside of the mat and bring your both hands inside. Okay. You got it? Mm -hmm. Now this is the good one. <laughs> Okay. okay. Now inhale, bring your fingers active. Exhale down. In up. Out. In. And out. Now your big toe is in the position of 12. Now I'm bringing my big toe into the position of 2. And I'm spreading my hands out a little bit. And I am going a little bit deeper here. Okay. Okay. In, look up, out, in. Here bending is more difficult. Okay, that's fine. Just do what you can. Okay? Uh -huh. Look up, out, in, and out. 
Now from here, what you do, you bring your hand back into the center and your feet from here is going, you're bringing the knee on the ground here. Okay, knee on the ground. Very good. Okay. <laughs> awesome, it's okay, perfect. Now bring your back leg straight and come into the forehead on the ground into the pigeon pose. So here I'm nicely pressing my whole left side of the uterus, the ovaries, lower abdominal area, this uterine calf area. Okay, open up. On the top, reach, 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 reach. Back leg straight. Adjust your body, forehead on the ground. Nice opening here. Oh my God, such a beautiful pose. Got it? Mm -hmm. So from here, the nice part is here. You bring your hands next to you. Okay. And then you come into the sitting posture. You remember I have taught you the twist here. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. You remember? That is the one I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now you sit tall. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So your right leg is above the left knee. Bring it close. With the left hand, hug it. <laughs> that is okay. Just bring it close. That's fine. Even if you hold it, that's fine. Okay. Right? So, see if you can kiss your knee. You're doing it. So, bring it close again. <laughs> but I'm lifting here when I don't lift. Yeah. Yeah. Don't lift. Put it on the ground. Okay? Sit tall. Very good. And just hug it. Just hug it. Yeah. See? That's where you need to work more. This teaches you where you need to go. Okay? Hug nicely. Other hand now, actually. Opposite hand. Right knee, left hand. Okay. Okay? That's perfect. Look forward. Sit to up. Very good. Very good. Even if you do this, that's fine. Okay. Okay? I was trying to go into the belly as a twist. So for here, from here, you bring your right hand behind. Take the support. Okay. Right hand behind, take the support. And now breathe in through the left hand. Reach, reach, reach. Don't lean back, come forward, sit tall on the butt. Okay, now exhale, bring your uh, left elbow and push your knee in. That's okay. And look back, look over the back shoulder. Okay. Look over the back shoulder, just mimic you are doing it. Hmm. And release. So this is the uh, whole half side. Okay. We did all these six, five, six, seven, seven variations on the right side. Okay. Right? We did the half, right? Then we did the namaste. Then we did the two of the legs. Then we went into the pigeon. That was the fifth. Hmm. One is 12, second one is two. Then we went to the pigeon. After the pigeon, we did the kiss the knee, right, into the sitting, and then we did the twist, spinal twist. So this is all the right side of your variations our, for our problem. Okay. The same thing you have to do with on the left side. Okay. You want to write it down or will you remember you, it? You will record. Yeah, uh, this is the recording. Will, will you I get will. it? Yes, yes. You will understand it now? I'm recording everything. Yeah, then I understand. Okay. So from here, if you do this right side, then you finish the left side also. Okay. So, so let's finish it. So oh, okay. you, you will you will not be uh, so from here come into the uh, Vajrasana a little bit and then we'll do, we'll go into the down dog and then we'll stand up, okay? okay. So come into the uh, the, the Vajrasana, like down, put it on the ground. Press your belly nicely. Are you connected here with your belly? Yes. Okay. But not forward. I like the tight pose here. Like spread your knees and come into forehead on the ground mm. and release your stress. Shashangasana. Okay. Mm -hmm. From here, bring your arm palms next to the on the on the ground and come into the down dog. Okay, and you know how to come into the down dog. Mm -hmm. Heels close to the ground, 
push your hip to the sky look in between the palms okay now from here we will go into our left leg bring your left leg in between the palm right back knee on the ground toes relaxed inhale reach 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 in the back exhale down inhale open up exhale one last time inhale exhale okay this is the one second one inhale namaste on the top exhale namaste on the side and twist so your left uh, right elbow is behind uh, outside of the knee very good you got it mm -hmm. look up into the back yep. and here breathe in deeply like the way i told you huh. all the breathing you should do it here okay enjoy this stretch okay as much as you can so this is your second variation hmm. then release it in the put your hands on the ground now bring your leg to the side yeah hands inside yeah hands inside <laughs> Show me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought that yeah. Show me. Very good. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. So, why I'm thinking that my right hand leg is supposed to be in the front? Uh -huh. That's what I was thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I because when thing. you stand up, <laughs> you, you do that. You know? Yeah. yeah. Okay, but that's a point you have to go into the sun salutation beginning. So you start from the beginning, okay? So now you you go bring your right leg close to the right side of the, then you will finish the full move, okay? Now bring your both hands, inhale, look up, exhale, in, out, your toe is in the toe, in, and out. Now bring your uh, foot into the two. Position of two, open up a little bit wide. Okay. Now inhale, exhale, go deeper. Inhale, exhale, push up. It's like a push up. Egg, inhale, exhale. Now from this, this is your fourth. Now come into the pigeon. Walk your right feet to the left hand. Right feet to the left hand. Bring your right knee on the ground. Very good. Bring your both palms in front. Now go down, forehead on the ground. Exhale, forehead on the ground. Seven breaths, deep breaths here in and out. Now come back. Okay, lift yourself and now your back leg comes forward. So your left leg comes over the right. Very good. Okay, left leg comes over the right. Bring a little bit closer with your opposite hand. No, you're from the inside. Yeah. You're just bringing your knee closer like that. Okay, okay? I just do it because I can squeeze more into my belly. Okay. okay, that's where I do it. Okay, very good. Yeah. Kiss your knee. You did it. <laughs> right? Now bring your left hand behind. Sit down. Inhale through the right. Reach, 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 reach. Reach and exhale. Bring your elbow and push your knee. Grab your ankle. Very good. Look over the back shoulder. Look it over the back shoulder. Nice holding of the ankle. Look back over the shoulder, the back shoulder. Nice breathe in and breathe out. Maybe five, seven, ten. Sit as much as you can and release it. Okay. And from here, you can do in the, the sitting one. 
okay so now left leg below right leg above okay. yeah now right hand on the left knee and your left hand in um in behind inhale here now look exhale to the side inhale and exhale do not lift your hips look up exhale down now second variation okay bring your both hands here inhale exhale forehead on the knee inhale see if you want to bring your hands in the front inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale and exhale stay there maybe you can sit and uh, do the seven breaths here once you're done you come back okay. now i'll do in the front you remember so uh, both hands on the knee inhale exhale do not lift the sacrum here okay inhale reach to the sky you're lifting the chest to the sky exhale lead with your heart lead with your heart forehead on the ground inhale and out lead with your heart Same thing, other side. You do at your own pace. Let me see. Don't lean back. Sit tall on the butt. Tall on the butt, okay? Go back into the lying down position. You remember lying down position? Yeah. Okay. So let us stretch your arms and legs are straight, arms are next to the body. Your lower back is nice and firm. You're like a, you're stretching your whole body. Bring your both arms up and try to reach the wall, okay? And try to pinpoint the toes towards the other wall. Your lower back, try to put it on the ground. Nice stretch here in the opposite direction. Stretch your body, open the spine, spinal extension. Remove the uh, obstructions from the vertebral column. This is a very good one. Okay, relax. One more time. Inhale, reach, 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 reach. And exhale. Relax. Okay? 
Now bring your both palms, interlock the fingers behind your neck. Let your neck rest nicely on the palm. Now inhale, bring your right leg above the left toe. Exhale, right leg to the right side of the body, parallel to the ground. You are not dropping it on the ground. Inhale in the center and interchange. Left leg on the left heel on the right toe. Exhale, left leg to the left side of the body. You are not dropping it on the ground. You are holding it. Inhale in the center. And release. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we did the right, right, when we lift the right leg, we did to the right side. Left leg, left to left side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, right leg to the left side. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we are doing lifting the right heel on the left toe. Now right leg is going to the left side of the body and you are looking into the opposite direction. Look at the right elbow. So your toe is coming to the left side, twist your body, twist, lift, twist it all the way from your abdomen, from your chest. Very good. Inhale in the center, interchange, Left heel on the right toe. Exhale, left leg goes, left toes comes to the right side of the body, parallel to the ground. Do not let it drop. Look at the left elbow. Look at the left elbow. Inhale in the center and release. So you do each of them five or seven times, okay? Now, bring your both knees close to the butt, close to the hip. All right, very good. Now inhale here in the center. Exhale, both knees coming to the right side of the body and you're looking into the opposite direction. Your right knee is resting on the left, uh, sorry, left knee is resting on the right foot. Inhale in the center. Exhale to the both knees to the left side of the body. Your right knee is resting on the left foot. Look at the right elbow. Inhale in the center. So um, I do not want you to bring your both knees to uh, legs together. Okay? okay. So I want you to watch me. Okay. This is very important and it's a beautiful one. Okay. So your see your both knees are close to the uh, bend, mm -hmm. right? But there is a distance between the shoulder width apart. They are okay. not close, okay. and the, even feet are not close. You are not moving any of this. What is happening is like you are stretching the things in between. Okay. Okay. Yeah, otherwise, yours is coming like this. Mm -hmm. No, then you will not enjoy. Then there is no stretch. Yeah, there is a little bit, but it's not for the extension or intention what we have for the abdomen. Okay. Okay, so spread your knees, shoulder width apart. Okay, now this is, you know this. This is the same thing what we are doing from the bottom to the top. Okay, so now we inhale here in the center. Now, both knees to the right side of the body. Exhale. Look into the opposite direction. You see this? Mm -hmm. Inhale in the center. Exhale to the left. Your right knee is on the left foot. Look at the right elbow. Inhale in the center. Like this. Okay. All right. Can I see one? Very good. Look at the elbow. Uh huh. You see that difference now? Mm -hmm. That's what engage your butt, your abdomen, your lot of things are your band. Very nice. Inhale in the center. Hold it nicely. Exhale to the opposite side. Very good. Do not move your feet. Awesome. Look at the elbow. Opposite elbow. Very good. Now do five breaths here. You know, in your own practice. Okay. 
seven breaths here in and out okay now come back into the center after this we will do the figure four okay. inhale and bring your right heel off of the left knee outside okay tell your uh, knee right knee to open up okay open up now inhale here in the center and exhale to the right side of the body press your left knee with your right ankle look into the opposite direction inhale in the center exhale to the opposite side same feet opposite side look into the opposite elbow press your bottom knee with the ankle keep your knee open not close to the body outside yeah inhale in the center and release right foot off now let's do that with the left leg okay would you like to tell me you want to tell me okay, okay i will listen to you okay yeah. left leg on the top yeah left heel outside left. of the right knee very good tell your left knee open up a little bit okay so if it is left knee is like this close to my body i will just tell him to open up okay okay like that inhale here left foot is on the top so let's go to the left side exhale to the left look into the opposite elbow press your knee with the ankle inhale in the center now exhale your right left foot is coming to the right side of the body open up your knee look into the opposite direction inhale in the center and release then what do you do in the fifth one here now grab your ankles okay and we will do the bridge here okay situ bandhasana okay inhale lift your knee uh, so lift your hip bring your knees closer to the body exhale down okay one more time inhale lift your hip very good go higher if you can hold it hold it exhale slowly bring it down to the ground okay in the last one see if you can go a little higher inhale grab your ankles bring your elbows uh, your shoulders inside and lift higher keep your knees close hold it exhale slowly come down okay now this is the three variations i taught you okay mm -hmm. in the fourth one i want you to observe me what i'm doing it and the fifth one okay, okay? so in this one now in the inhale lift your knee bring your hands closer to the body okay interlock and go higher and higher okay and hold and release okay from here come into the lying down position into the belly okay remember mm -hmm. now you are coming into the belly so you are done with all the different positioning Okay, now here bring your arms up, stretch your body in between like the way we did in the supine. This is a prone position. Give yourself a little time here, just let your body come back to the normal breath. 
Now bring your both hands next to the shoulder. Okay? Now what are we going to do here? Cobra variations. Inhale, just lift your chin higher. Look over the ceiling. Exhale down. Inhale. It's just the neck of the cobra. Exhale. Inhale. Cobra doesn't have hands and legs. Look up. Hold it. Exhale down. Now, second variation of the cobra here. Inhale and lift. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. In. Until the belly. Exhale. In the third variation, lock your elbows and lift your hip. Inhale. Lift your hip. Look up. Chin up. Exhale down. One last time. Inhale. Lock your elbows. Lift your hip. Look up. Chin up. And release. Now bend your knees. Both knees. And move to the left. Move to the right. Just do some wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You can put, take a rest here and put your knee, one of the ear on the ground. Then other ear on the ground. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now from here, bring your chin in the center. Grab your right, grab your left. And press your heels into the butt, into the hips. Are you okay? Just do, as I told you, one side, right? I taught you one side, actually. Yeah. Right? Very good. Good job. You remembered. Once you are done this, then you bring your both hands, lock it, lock your elbows, and then you lift. Two. Lift higher. And then you can go the wiggle wheel here on the belly. Little one. Okay? Then come back and slowly release it. Okay? From here, now we are going to the locust shalabhasana. What we do here, we lift our hands and legs and lift higher on the belly, okay? Inhale, lift. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, lift higher into the locust. And exhale. So in the locust, you can hold on the belly for five seconds. Two seconds, four seconds, seven seconds, whatever you can. Okay. On the belly. From here, come into the child pose. Go into the cobra and come into the vajrasana and go into the child. Cobra, vajrasana, child. Nice variation. Give yourself a good job. Pat. Okay. okay. Hold your ankles here and be a seal. Like the way you were in the belly of mama. <laughs> Going to the seat. Be your seat. Who will have an opportunity with, with the proper environment, with the five proper five elemental theory. Okay? Mm -hmm. Which will sprout one by one by one by one by one by one by one once you breathe. Come up and sit into the vajrasana. Okay. Okay. And and then here you can do the omkara. Okay. Twenty-one times, one whole mala, hundred and eight times. You decide.
one said, two said, eleven said, ten said, you decide. Then at least do three in a day. Mm -hmm. See if it's possible. Then you do the nice home card, the way we learned it. Uh, let's do three, okay? You can do whatever positioning, that's a good positioning. I can do the Gyana Mudra here. she will ask me shavasana <laughs> okay shavasana i thought it's you but it's not you yeah. okay got it so this is your whole set here you have to remember you have to do the sun salutations at least five to eleven times whatever the sets but with that modifications also you can do that so you did the first sun salutation right and left the, with that uh, you remember the launch yeah. The modified launch and the spinal twist namaste on the side you can continue the whole 12 steps in that one okay okay so and then breathing so uh, now the breathing part breathing all the three breathing which is very important for us mm. you remember the first one yep. the first trika now let's do from this one okay the first day so okay. we did the pinky and uh, the uh, the thumb at the base of the pinky make a nice twist and put it into the pubic area close to the pubic area so the groin area press it nicely okay get a nice grip here inhale look up exhale along with the breath out slowly come down do not lift your back your heel is close to the ground your heel is sorry your um, buttock is close to the heel Forehead on the ground. Inhale slowly. Inhale. Lift higher. Chin up. Go back. Exhale. Lead with your heart. Lead with your heart. Forehead on the ground. Inhale. Look up, chin up. Exhale, lead with your heart. Forehead on the ground. Slowly, one by one by one. What you do, you come up. In the second one, imagine a badge. Hold it and exhale loudly. Okay, inhale. 
Look up, reach, exhale. So this is six, seven. So you do 20, 21, 25, whatever, at least two to three sets. Okay? Once you are done with this, then come to the Kapalabhati. After the Kapalabhati, then you can go into the Anulam Vilam practice. Okay? And then you can go into the meditation. So after this, the Kapalabhati, put your hands on the ground, on the knees, or palm facing up. But I love the mudra all the time, the chin, um, the, the Gan mudra. But when you, the Gan mudra is like this. But when you do it like this, that will become a chin mudra. Okay? So back straight and then inhale and after you are in in the kapal bhati kapal means this okay kapal bhati means bhata bhata means you know remember on the road sides of india there will be some people they are making the metal murtis and this uh -huh. they have this machine of doing up and down and that it blows the air and that fire comes out uh -huh. you know that that's the bhata okay like a blow the um, the gao chula hmm. that whole hollow space that tube that's the belly okay. and the bata so in kapal bhati what we are going to do inhale in once your inhalation the only one first inhalation is active the rest of the inhalations are passive your activeness is in the in the exhalation okay you got it so one breath conscious breath and then all the breaths are passive breaths inhalation Okay. Like that. Okay. So you do that at least 25, 30 times. Like do at least 10 times. So maybe 5 sets, 10 sets. You increase slowly, slowly, slowly your Kapalbhati practice. So all these practices together, then you finish it with the Anulam Vilam Pranayama. So Anulam Vilam, you make a fist, open up the last two. Chin Mudra. No, sorry, Vishnu Mudra. Okay? So now thumb on the right. Inhale through the left. Close the left. Open the right. Exhale. Inhale through the right. Close the right, open the left, exhale. Do the same. Now, as I'm teaching you, I make the noise. But when you're practicing, you practice like this. That means you should not make a noise. The next person should not hear my breath. That's the good breath. Okay. All right. Good job. Okay. So once you're done uh, with it, this is your whole practice of the all the aspects of yoga. From there, standing. Okay. We started with the standing, then we went to the sides, then we did the sun in the center, then we came into the modified all the modified versions of the sun salutation mm -hmm. at least seven variations we know one and then the rest five or six at least six to seven different variations of the sun salutation each one you can do one okay so you do this with one sun salutation this with one salutation okay. this with one salutation then pigeon with one salutation like that okay, okay? then you come to the sitting then you come to the lying mm. lying on the back then like on the belly, get it? And then you come into the Vajrasana to the child, um, sorry, uh, from the Cobra to the Vajrasana to the child first. Then you do sitting practices of breathing. 
from the breathing you're going to the shavasana or meditate for a little bit before you go into the shavasana anyways most of the people in meditation they sleep <laughs> so whatever suits you the best i like meditation and shavasana so this is the sequence for you enjoy it at least it will take like and a half an hour to 40 minutes to one hour very easily when you do everything when you do omkara when you do this when you do a separately u separately um separately that also can be done and then if you know some of the mantras you know any mantras then you can begin with the mantra and end with the mantra which mantra you like okay Mahamrityunji is good, okay. Gayatri is good, um, Saraswati is good, whatever suits you the best. Mm. Uh, Shiva, I like anything with a yoga, is Shiva represents a trance state. Yeah. Do you do the Rudra? Okay, you do the Rudra, the whole? Mm. For me, a little bit. Mm, like, yes. Here, do with mm. the boot, mm. I haven't learned by heart yet. Yeah, okay. Mm. That's good. Mm. Om Namo Bhagavate Rudraya Om Namaste Rudra Manyava Uto Tarishadve Namaha What do you mean? I have to look the book. I have in 500. That's so pretty, huh? <laughs> we learn everything in Sai Khanda, no? So. Where, where do you learn? Sati Sai Khanda. Oh, okay. The one in... Uh, no, like... You came for that um, medical camp, remember? Oh, Side. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. So, like, there we have from childhood classes we have. Hmm. We call it, like, in India, we used to call I learned in India, too. Hmm. We call it Bhagavikas. Here in US, they call it Ecstasy. So, yeah, so from there, so we learn Kyoto. So That's so, so good. So, even if you chant this, like, the way you chant it, that's a beautiful breath practice, actually. Uh, you know, like the way you go up and come down, you know, it's a lot to do with your breath also. Yeah, beautiful. Very nice. Try them at least once in a day. I like the Ganesha one. I do the Ganesh one. Okay. Uh, Atul Shusha. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I like the other. So I, whenever I'm, even if I'm cooking, I will, I will do something. You know? So maybe nursing art. Whatever you like, uh, whatever my mood is, <laughs> depending on that, I chant. Mm. You know, but uh, but that's beautiful. Yoga is fun. Did you learn the singing? Yes, I do. Singing? Uh, like, are you? I like dancing. So, mm. but my mom used to <laughs> like music. So, to make her you know, happy, I used to go for music class and make me happy. I used to go for dance class. <laughs> so, which dance do you know? Bharatanatyam and Mohini. Mohini Atam also? Yeah. Mohini yeah, and Kerala's, you know, so. Oh, so, oh my god, I miss watching that actually. I should have gone to. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Okay. I think there is something Mohini Atam also happened to you, right? Mm, not sure. Bharat Natyam, you said, right? Yes, both. Mohini Atam. Mohini Atam, both. Is this the one with the, what we see that, you know? No, that is Kathagari. Oh, that's Kathagari. Okay. <laughs> is what then? Mohini we... Mm, I'll the, show you photo. Is the like one on the wear, plate? No, that is Kuchipudi. Mohini is very slow and flowy movements. Okay. 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 Mm, Hatnatam and Kuchipudi are little vigorous movements. Oh. Oh, achya. So it's more like slow, slow paced. Mm. Then it's more like a Tai Chi then. <laughs> no, means like uh, Tai Chi moves are like yeah. that. But it's little vigorous than that. That's but, okay, yeah. a little vigorous than that. But compared to Bharatanatyam and Kuchipudi, this is more okay. slow. Okay, so uh, now we will go into the massage room and we will do that special therapy today. Okay, if you want to use the restroom before we go on the massage table, if you want to drink a little bit of water, that's fine too. Hold on, okay. hold on, let me turn off your camera. <laughs> 